Unless you are living in the 80s, you probably need to add a safe feature to your game. Lucky for us, Construct 3 makes it super easy to do. How's it going everybody, I'm AJ and one of you asking me to make a tutorial about progress saving in Construct 3. So let's do it! First of all, let me explain what is saving and why you need it. So when players interact with your game, chances are they won't finish it in one sitting. So you need to have a way to save their progress to make sure next time they log in, they can continue their journey without losing the progress they made in their previous session. How do you do that? Well, we have a few options. Let me explain. First of all, Construct3 has an integrated feature to save and load games via the event sheet. What this does is that it will tell the engine to save the entire state of the game to a safe lot. Consus does everything here and will keep track of everything from objects to variables and even player position at the time of saving. This is fine, for the most part it gets the job done and you shouldn't have a problem doing it this way. But one thing I don't like about this feature is that it tends to be a little extreme. If you have played a retro game before using an emulator or oh wait, let me reframe that. If you had legally played a retro game before with an emulator, you have probably used safe states, right? So this safe feature in Construct works exactly like that. It saves the progress, yes, but it's a bit rudimentary and puts players in the exact place they were when the save happened. It is like if the game is frozen in time when the player hits save. But sometimes you might want to have a little more control over what is safe and what not, and where you want elements to be when things are loaded back. That's why I like to use a different method. So here's how I do it. There's a behavior in Construct called Locker Storage, and what this does is that it allows you to save player progress to their machine. It is pretty useful because instead of freezing the entire game in time, it lets you save specific elements of the game like variables or arrays. Let's say you want to save how many levels are unlocked or what collectibles the player has at the moment. You can do that with local storage. And the way to do it is very simple. On the event sheet, add the action save item. It can be at the end of the layout or when reaching a checkpoint. Then we need to read that save state next time players load the game. So you gotta go to the first layout of your game. It can be the loading layout if you have one or maybe the title screen. And you need to add an event like this. At the start of the layout check if the item save exists. If the item exists, let's get it. Once it gets the item, let's use the information previously saved to it to update the state of the game, the state of the variables, of the arrays, whatever we have in storage. If it is a variable, then take the safe information and update that variable. Just replicate this action and we're done. Now our game will save the specific info we want and whenever players come back to our game, it will check if that information exists and update the state of the game to replicate how things were when players left. Like you can see, this way is less disruptive, it keeps the flow of the game and players don't even realize what happened. This is how I save players progress in my games. But wait, if you found this video useful and easy to understand, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel, that stuff really helps. Now you know how to add a safe feature to your game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one, bye!